Hey guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button because so many people are watching so many videos. Like my praying in tongues video has like 4,000 something views. My, um, what is it? My, what is it? The other video. Oh, my like Clarisonic real versus fake Mia has like 5,000 something views. The video I posted last week, or well, I don't know when you're seeing this. I don't know if it'll be last week or what, but that video has like, let's see, let's go look. So that video has almost 840 views right now, and it's been, it's exactly a week old, and I only have 275, I only have 275 subscribers, so like almost 900 people are really going to watch my video and none of you are going to click subscribe. Like, that's so sad. Like, why you gotta be like that? Like, just hit the button. It's so easy. <sighs> okay, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Come back for future videos if you hit the all on the notification bell. I wish I was like a professional YouTuber and I could put the clip in of like how you do it, but I can't. So you're either gonna have to figure it out or just not do it, but you can hit all and you can get notified for every time I upload a future video. Right. Oh my gosh, you can see Mickey. Ugh. That's better. You can't see Mickey as bad, right? In my last video, you're going to be able to see Mickey the whole time, but like, whatever. Today's video, it's super fun and super easy. We're just going to be talking about a few of the things that really make me cringe as a Christian, like cringe inside and like want to like curl up in a ball and hide from everybody. No offense, but if you do these things, they make me cringe. <laughs> The first thing is like, I don't know why this makes me cringe, but do you know that song on like TikTok? I think it's on TikTok. I don't have TikTok. I think I have a TikTok, but I don't like have TikTok. Does that make sense? Like I don't have TikTok on my phone, but it's like that song that's like, Holy Spirit, activate, you know, and it's like someone's like clapping or something and you want to like, you want to like do this when you hear it. Anyway, that makes me cringe so bad. And I don't know why, because I feel like it's like, telling the Holy Spirit to activate, like, that's so weird. Like, that's so weird because it's like, I, like, I pray for the Holy Spirit to move and stuff like that, but just to be like, Holy Spirit, activate. I don't know. It weirds me out. Something about it just weirds me out. Another thing is, like, when people are texting you, and, like, I get, like, some people aren't Christians, and they probably don't, like, even care. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I have some people that I know that aren't Christians that just don't really care, but like putting OMG, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to put it on the screen because I hate it. But like those letters, they mean like, oh my, and then using God's name in vain. And I don't like that. Like that bothers me. So I always type out personally, like, I don't know what I was just trying to say. I always type out like, oh my gosh, or whatever on like when I'm texting people or when I post something because OMG makes me cringe so bad because it's using God's name in vain. I don't like that. <sighs> or you could like type, oh my gosh, or oh my goodness. It would be so much better. But if you type OMG, whether you're Christian or not, it means something else. We didn't decide the meaning. Us Christians didn't decide, okay? Everybody else did. Another thing is like, I hate like saying the acronym because I know what it means. It makes me cringe inside. But like, so I would put like LMBO for like laugh my butt off, but there's another one that people use that makes me cringe. I don't like it. I don't like the bad words. The Bible says something along the lines of let no unwholesome talk come from your mouth. That is not wholesome, ladies and gents. Um, okay, what's another thing? Talking hateful about other people. There's a difference between telling people what's going on or what's happening, but just straight up like talking hateful, like hating people and like talking about it in conversation, just saying nasty, mean things like, I don't know, like gossiping or whatever. Like there's something about it. Like if you come up to me and you're like, I hate this person, like this person's a piece of crap. Like it's going to make me cringe so bad because I just want to be like, stop, stop. It's different if like somebody's really hurt you and you're going to come up and you're going to tell me you know, your feelings and you're upset and stuff like that. Like, that's a little bit different than just like hating people. Like, I hate it. 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 Okay, this is the last thing I have for today. Like I said, it's going to be a super simple, easy video. I could go to the gas station and get a Pepsi with vanilla and cherry, and that sounds so delicious. Okay, anyway, positive vibes. That's what it is. I could have looked at my phone the whole time. The notes were there. Um, positive vibes. 
that like when people are like send positive vibes my way I have friends that do that I get it like I get what it means I know what it means but again I feel like that's almost like in the new age kind of stuff that I, I don't know if I said it in this video I probably said it in my last video I'm filming a video about like new age beliefs and stuff coming up but like sending out po positive things and positive things come back to you because you send it out in the universe no like that's not how it works it doesn't make any sense like you can pray actively pray to god and then like i believe something will happen but like you can send i i'm happy if you're thinking like positively about me like whatever that's so nice of you but like it's not gonna like do anything for me for you to send positive vibes so it doesn't even make sense it's not even a thing people just say it and it doesn't even make sense why don't you just pray for them like it just bothers me it makes me cringe inside like I said I have friends that do some of these things and I'm sorry if it upsets you but it really as a Christian even though I never say it like I would never say it to anybody everybody knows now if they watch this video but I would never like say it to you like oh you make me cringe like I would never do that that's terrible but like I'm cringing inside just so you know but like I said in the beginning of this video make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button don't forget to subscribe we had a whole conversation about it I think by now you can be supportive and join my family my little YouTube family gospel gals another thing that I want to do I hope I have time to talk about this I do I have like two minutes um, another thing I want to do is have other women on this channel sharing something that Jesus has done in their life like I have a whole plan on that like because it's gospel gals so I don't just want it to be me and I'm not saying I would never have like men featured in my channel like maybe my husband or a friend or something like that but I do want to have women involved in this channel so if you're interested at all reach out to me you can email me just make sure you comment down below before you email me and if you have any video topics you want me to cover I just booked excuse me if you have any video topics you want me to cover let me know down below too or again email me but comment and make sure that you tell me that you email me because I have so many emails. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm so glad to have you here and I will see you in the next one. Bye.